All right, everybody. Woo, woo, woo. Quite an echo in here. Super bright white room. Got a level five finish on the walls. Didn't need to take it that far. But um, I said, hey, you know what? I, I can do it. Might as well do it. Ginzoot it up. And man, we have a smooth, perfect wall. It's all gonna get covered up by clothes and shelves and things. When building a closet in a small space, it's roughly four by eight. Four feet wide, eight feet long. At least I hope it's eight feet long. Might be more than eight feet. 95 inches. Of course, that's gonna change. Actually, not too bad. So I gotta get the most. The most out of this closet, we're gonna have double hanging here, there, in the middle is gonna be a single hanging for long garments and then shelves going up. And there's gonna be shelves all around, but those are in phases. It's gonna be a bank of shelving right there. But the first main component of this closet build is this wall. So what is the height that you put your top rod at, your middle rod at? The top of the top rod is gonna be 82 inches. The top of the lower rod is gonna be 41 inches. Now I need a gap between the top rod and that first shelf. I'm gonna do that two inches. My legs for this system are gonna be 84 inches. Easy, even number to remember, 84 inches. That is seven feet, and that's gonna look really, really good. That's how I do these things. I break them down into small, easy blocks of work instead of a huge project with a ton of different measurements in a room that goes this way and that way, one thing at a time, it's this wall. Got my laser beam up here. I highly recommend everybody go out and buy this. There'll be a link in the description. I don't know how I got along without it for so many years, but it's a, it's a Bosch Professional GLL30 laser beam. It came with a mount and this pole system also came with a mount. I used the one that came with the pole system. There's a laser beam with spotlights on it. But I'm gonna make my marks on the wall from one position, even if I gotta turn the lights out, I gotta get my level line. Because this floor isn't even, my legs are not all gonna be the same length. At least I don't think they are. I'm anticipating them not to be. There's a little dial on this. So I can just dial it down without having to undo the clamp. So you gotta come down one more eighth. That's what the laser beam looks like. Looks like a giant Jesus cross on the wall. Hallelujah. So I got my, my lines marked out. Right here is gonna be a center section that will have a, a full length hanging area and then maybe two shelves up to the top shelf. And then above the top shelf is gonna be another section that actually sits on it. But again, that's phase probably two. I just need to get this base to start with. This floating floor sits on like a foam underlayment and it never fully sits flat until you're standing on it. So I'm gonna go up to each one of these and just kind of put some weight on it with my foot and get a measurement, a cut, cut measurement. So that one there is measuring 83 and 7 eighths. 83 and 7 eighths. And this one is dead nuts at 84 inches. So it definitely goes downhill that way. The next video is all woodworking fine finished carpentry with a very, very exotic wood from the other side of the world. I can't believe it. I get to work with this exotic material. You would like to get yourself a pretty sweet shirt or hat. They're available by clicking the link in the description. Also, this pro grade leveling system with the Bosch laser level and this yellow pole here. Uh, it comes with a full kit. Uh, you can actually um, not use the tripod base and just jam it in between something and there's like a little turnbuckle with a foot that you can push it up to the ceiling. Pretty adaptable in uh, all sorts of uses. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.